I'm Michael Camp, the Executive Director of the 10X program at the Ohio State University. It's a collaborative program with the One Fund from the State of Ohio and Founders Factory. I've actually been the director of the program since its launch. We launched in uh, April of 2011 and we've been proud to have three classes now. We're actually recruiting now for the third class. I've been the Executive Director of the Center for Entrepreneurship at Ohio State University and the Tech Academy program since I came to Ohio State in 2004. Being a program that's located in Ohio and mostly organized by the Ohio State University, we do get a lot of questions about whether or not you have to be a university student or you have to be from the state of Ohio in order to apply, and the answer is no, no to, no to both of those. In fact, we have many candidates, applicants that are coming from all over the world. We get candidates from uh, as far as Singapore and China and London and lots of other countries around the world, as well as other states in the United States. Uh, we do see applicants from Ohio, and we hope to encourage that and see more of that. But at the same time, we're open from uh, candidates from all over the country, as well as international. And we hope to see that many will apply. In the last class of the 10X teams, we had a, a great group. Uh, one of the particular teams that I got the chance to work closely with was Zoop Shop. Zoop Shop was a Singapore team. Not only did they have the challenges of relocating to the United States uh, for a 12-week program, but we also had the challenges of getting them acclimated to the business community here in Ohio. And the mentors stepped up in a tremendous way. Uh, there were several of them that just pulled them into their wings and uh, showed them the ropes with respect to Columbus and all the ways in which they can get acclimated. We were able to eventually introduce them to several of our key intermediaries in the markets that they're competing in. And they were able to go on and actually establish some strategic partnerships with those organizations. Very important partnerships that are going to be part of their build out as they move forward. We also often get asked, uh, do you have to be a young entrepreneur? Do you have to be a student or a student right out of college uh, to be a part of the 10X program? And absolutely not. We just this past class had a very exciting project team that came together. In fact, a very established team, a team that had already done several startups. They were probably in their mid-30s. And by the time they finished the program, they had tracked right along with the other, uh, the other younger teams as well. Uh, this was Rooftop Down, and Rooftop Down was working on a very exciting project to actually put together all the data associated with the buy and sell of new homes and existing homes all around the country. It's an exciting platform. They made great traction, even actually identified a few key investors before they were able to finish the program. In the next round of 10X startups, we're really looking for a lot of creative ideas and a lot of high energy, highly innovative teams to apply. We're looking for teams across the board, whether you've got a, just a unique idea that you've barely baked and have just recently thought of, all the way to a concept you may have been working on for some time. You may even have prototyped that product concept. You may even be in test market in some applications. Uh, we bring the teams in from across the board, across a whole array of different options and a whole array of different stages of development. And we'd be excited to have teams that have you know, looked at creative ideas and are willing and uh, ready to, to work hard on developing them further from wherever they actually are at start. You know, there's actually been a lot of names associated with the 10X program. Not only the 10X name itself, but the fact that it's administered at the Ohio State University. It's a collaboration with the state of Ohio's Third Frontier program in a new program called the One Fund. You know, after a while, it just gets very, very confusing. But let me boil it down for you. You know, the 10X program is administered as an independent angel fund. It's its own focus. It's its own independent run fund. It's administered by the state of Ohio and Ohio State University in a collaboration, but it is a standalone fund and in the future it'll be its standalone program independent of any of the other agencies, but served by and in coordination with those those groups. At the same time, those groups have been very instrumental in making sure this happens, seeding the program. We get the grant funds from the state of Ohio that were, enables us to bring the teams in and the university allows us to actually fund the program that is, that is run inside 10X, which is the training and educational and development program. So it's a great collaboration effort. It's a community-wide effort. We're happy to now have the partnership with Founders Factory, which in the future will be providing the seed funds for the teams. But at this stage, I just wanted everybody to be clear that when you're signing up for 10X, it's 10X, and that's all you have to really be concerned about. You know, by now you've probably heard a lot about why Columbus and Central Ohio and Ohio in general is actually a great place to start a young company. Uh, you know, I would add a couple things that you might not uh, notice immediately from, uh, from Ohio. Uh, one is that Ohio is actually uh, privy to a lot of state programs. Uh, the state of Ohio's Third Frontier program provides the Ohio Innovation Loan Program, which is a low-cost, low-interest loan program for early-stage startups. Very, very active. A lot of great startups in Ohio are benefiting from this program. 
Uh, in addition is the Technology Investment Tax Credit. This gives a tax credit to investors in emerging and startup companies. This is a program that doesn't exist like this anywhere else in the country. And Ohio has been recognized uh, award as an award, this program as an award-winning program across the country. So these are just, uh, uh, this is just a small example. One other is it's a great place to make connections into Fortune 500 companies. A lot of these companies are actually headquartered here in the Midwest, here in Ohio, and through our mentor network, growing every day and the connections they have throughout Ohio, we can actually make direct connections to those business-to-consumer based businesses and business-to-business -business based businesses that depend on the large brands and the access to the large corporations in order to grow and mature their companies. You know, Ohio and Central Ohio in particular is also a very, very exciting test market for a lot of new product concepts, new service concepts, and our 10X teams are benefiting from this greatly. In fact, part of the reason why it's such a strong test market is because of the presence of so many Fortune 500 companies all throughout the state. You've got Procter & Gamble, probably one of the best examples, the Kroger Company, the limited brands right here in Central Ohio. You've got AEP and Nationwide, a lot of big companies in the insurance and banking, Chase Bank, and goes on and on, but a lot of these companies are actually headquartered right here and many of their uh, representatives are actually part of or at least networked with our own mentor base. So we're exciting, excited to be able to provide those kind of uh, access points to a lot of our young startups and it really benefits and accelerates their program. So what can a typical applicant expect if you're applying to 10X for the next class? Well, after the application close, we take about 10 days to review all the applications with our screening committee and so you should expect to hear back from us as to whether your application has made it to the final selection or not within that time frame. But it takes another week or two for us to actually go through those finalists and screen down to the top 10. As you probably know from the website, we accept 10 teams in each of our classes. So uh, it should take about three weeks for us to fully evaluate all the uh, proposals, all the applicants, and then to get back to you individually as to whether or not you've actually been selected for the class. From that point, you have about four weeks before you actually have to be on site for launch day at, for the 10X program. Uh, here in Columbus, Ohio. And we expect you to be here in Columbus, Ohio. All participating teams require at least two individuals, 18 years or older, to actually be here on site for the entire duration of the program. You also, if you don't have a company before entering the 10X program, have to form, or at least we expect you to set up your business as doing business in the state of Ohio. Uh, and thirdly and finally, there is the equity agreement. We will be having teams sign equity agreements in order to be a part of the program. And that equity agreement is to, um, for the funding that's available as well as the mentoring that you'll be getting, the coaching you'll be getting throughout the program. So you're a 10X applicant. What can you expect during the 10 or 11 weeks that you're here in Columbus, Ohio for 10X? Well, beyond intense uh, working on your business, 40 hours a week on location, uh, you'll also be party to a lot of different programming that's designed about accelerating your business from the concept you started with to where you think you're, you need to be in order to get a high traction, high profile business. Uh, on Mondays, almost every Monday throughout the 11 week program, we spend an evening, a dinner evening with the mentors. So we're e usually welcomed at some mentor's home. Uh, we actually spend the entire evening there, but it's you and the mentors, a very, very intimate and private uh, type and time for which you can actually ask questions and get a lot of feedback and uh, interesting insights from where those mentors are actually coming from. On Wednesdays, we typically have what we call the programming or workshop days. That can be anything from uh, you know, a, a presentation by a lead mentor or entrepreneur or serial entrepreneur here in Columbus, Ohio, or Skyping in with Mark Suster, who's done this great uh, program for us a couple times now with 10X and a variety of others. Uh, and then Fridays are the general social time where the teams usually get together on their own to go out and find uh, a lot of great fun things to do in Ohio, a lot of great fun things in Columbus. Uh, we've even seen racquetball tournaments and ping pong tournaments and a host of other things where the teams are actually getting to know one another. Uh, so that's a typical program, but you'll be here all the way for the 11 weeks until showcase day on, uh, on the, uh, the last day of the program.